Hello everyone. Um, today we're gonna go over our new feature, which is automated restaurant and menu builder. Um, simply go to your admin panel, uh, go to the menu section, select your location, and click on auto builder. From here, you will type in the restaurant's name, in which case we're gonna do Red Robin here as an example, and put in the address of said restaurant. Um, we're also going to create a restaurant profile automatically from that menu um, so I can show you guys all the features that, that you get with this. Um, if you previously created a restaurant profile and, you just, you, and you're just looking to get a menu, then definitely leave this <coughs> unchecked. Uh, hit go and let the system do its thing for a second and now as you can see we have the red robin we verified the address that's in so 450 Marin town center and go and hit continue now this process takes as you see only 10 to 15 seconds uh the menu builder is going to build everything out with the pictures the names of the items price and the full description as well as the all the options sub options nested options and everything in between. Um, so everything's separated into sections. You have the gourmet burgers, you have the appetizers, um, kids menus, everything is in there. Um, after that, you will have to decide if you need to adjust the price on the menu. Um, so as you can see, for example, this item is currently $3.29. Um, if we adjust the price by 5%, it will the price will go up 5% for all the menu items and vice versa if we go down 5% it will lower the base price by 5%. Now you will still be able to uh, manage your markups uh, after the fact. Th these are just the base prices that you're adjusting. So in this case we'll leave it at zero. Uh, make sure you put in your local sales tax which in this case is going to be 7.5% for Florida and we'll just say that on average it takes Red Robin 20 minutes to uh, prepare an order. Now, uh, there is two payment options. Um, uh, one is mandatory to get the menu, which is $15 flat. So if you just want the menu built out, um, you will uh, pay $15 to get that menu created uh, with everything that's needed. Uh, now, another feature that we have is AutoSync, uh, which will update the menus for you for only $5 a month. Um, this feature will keep up with everything, um, even uh, as you can see here, we have new items. Um, everything like that is going to be added. Prices are going to get updated. The descriptions, pictures, anything that gets changed, our AutoSync is going to fix it. Um, so after you uh, selected your price, you put your sales tax and prep time. Uh, just go ahead and click Get Menu. And now the system is going to build it into our back end. So this can take anywhere from 15 seconds to 45 seconds, depending on how big the menu is. Um, and after this, we will look over how the menu was built. We will look at the restaurant profile and we will do um, a test takeout order so you can see how the customer um, experiences on that end. And there we go. Um, the menu builder is successful. Um, from here, you can choose to make another. Um, if you want to make multiple locations, restaurants, menus, uh, whatever you need to do. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and click view menu. Um, as you can see, it's going to tell you the date um, and when it was synced. Um, everything is uh, separated into sections. And we'll just go ahead and look at this Scorpion Gourmet Burger, for example. Um, as you can see, uh, the description is right there. The base price is correct. Uh, the availability is also pulled in. So this particular item is available from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. on every day. The picture is right there. And then we can go to preview and see exactly how the flow of, the, of ordering that specific menu goes. Um, a lot of these things are optional, but if the customers want to... Um, change their side or maybe you know they want to add they want to remove things or add additional toppings uh, that can always do that which is great for upselling on its own basically 
Um, there is also, you know, upcharges for different sauces if they want to get something different. So everything is built out. Now we'll go back to the admin panel. We'll go to restaurants, to our location, and we will take a look at one of the profiles. So this profile, for example, um, majority of the things are going to be filled out, um, as well as the hours of operation. Um, your fees are going to be implemented in there. And you will see that the logos and the brand picture and the featured dish is going to be also showing up. Um, now, these restaurants are usually, once created, they're hidden from the customer and they are active. But uh, in this case, we will make it, um, we will unhide it and we will make this restaurant active. All right, and now I will show you quickly how the consumer end of things looks. We will go here, we'll select New York, and here we go. You can see that all the items are, are neatly separated, exactly how it is built on, on the menu. There is all the pictures, descriptions, prices, and for example, if we want to order this appetizer, all the other options, you know, we can select the onion rings customizations, toppings and sides. We can say if we want something, if we want to remove something. So everything is there. Um, for allergies and other additional in instructions, they have a window that they can fill that out. So we can go ahead and add that and we can do a burger that has multiple multiple selections go crispy you know they can add silverware they can add toppings or remove toppings so everything is included um, it goes super into detail and all the granular um, options are there. So that's our new automated menu builder. Um, we hope you like it and we hope we save you some time with this. Have a great day.